Understanding filler material in English. Hello everyone, today, we're going to dive into a common aspect of English language communication, filler material. Understanding this concept is key to both improving your English fluency and comprehension. Let's explore what it means and how it's used in everyday conversations. Filler material refers to words or phrases that are used to fill pauses or gaps in speech. These are not necessarily essential to the main content but help the speaker to think, plan their next words, or simply hold the conversation. Common examples include, uh, um, you know, and like. Understanding these can make listening to native speakers easier and also aid in sounding more natural when you speak. Filler material serves several purposes. Buying time. When thinking of what to say next, a speaker might use fillers. Softening statements. To make a statement less direct or blunt. Holding the floor. To indicate that they are not finished speaking. Showing uncertainty or hesitation. Sometimes used to demonstrate that the speaker is unsure. Fillers can vary based on the context. Formal versus informal. Formal settings might see less use of casual fillers like, like, or, you know. Cultural variations. Different English-speaking cultures have unique fillers. For instance, well, is more common in British English. While fillers are natural, overuse can be distracting. Here are some tips to minimize overuse. Pause instead. Take a moment to think instead of filling the space with words. Practice. Conscious practice in speaking can help reduce reliance on fillers. Listening skills. Improve your understanding of when fillers are used and learn to anticipate them. I hope this video has helped you understand the role of filler material in English communication. Whether you're learning English as a second language or looking to refine your speaking skills, being aware of these aspects can greatly enhance your fluency and comprehension. Happy learning, and see you in the next video!